To properly fit your crutches, first place one crutch under your arm. You should have about two to three fingers width between the top of the crutch and the armpit. In this case, the crutch is too high. Make the adjustment by pressing the button and moving the central strut in or out. Here, there are two to three fingers width between the top of the crutch and your armpit. Never lean on the crutches through your armpits. Next, adjust the hand grip up or down by removing the wing washer and screw and reposition. Once you grasp the hand grip, you should have about a 50 to 20 degree bend in your elbow. The grip is in the correct place when it is level with your wrist with the arm fully extended. For a non-weight bearing walking pattern, place both crutches slightly out front, a little wider than your shoulders. Then swing your body through and land on your uninvolved foot. Your body weight should go through your hands, not your armpits. For a partial weight bearing walking pattern, keep both crutches in sequence with the injured lower extremity. The percentage of weight through your involved side will be determined by the amount you distribute through the crutches. The optimal way to use one crutch is to place it in the opposite hand of the weak or involved side. In this case, his lower left extremity is involved. The crutch and the involved side work together. Going up the steps, one step at a time, step up with the uninvolved side first, followed by the involved side and crutch together. Always remember to hold the rail. A non-weight bearing pattern on steps without a rail is the most difficult, so be careful. If there is a rail, it is best to hold the rail and place both crutches on the uninvolved side. While holding the crutches and rail, lead with the uninvolved side followed by the crutches. Here is another way to hold both crutches on the same side. You want to make sure the free crutch is balanced. If it falls forward or backward, then it is unbalanced and not correct. When coming down the steps, step down with the involved side and crutches first, then followed by the uninvolved side. You may or may not be able to weight bear on your involved side. Remember to always hold the rail. Again, be very careful if using two crutches and no rail.